There's nothing better for a baby's development than any kind of healthy touch. So that's why baby yoga is so good. But it improves um, digestion, helps with gas pain. Um, touch can help turn fussiness into happiness. And if that includes any kind of playing or gentle movement, it helps promote healthy lifestyle and the idea of being physically fit from a young age. It helps strengthen the parent-child bond and the human to human, baby to baby bond. Also um, increases neuromuscular development. Each time you touch your baby, you're stimulating that neural development, you're increasing blood flow, your baby's releasing happy hormones. We also um, really feel it's important now to cultivate healthy self-esteem and body image for our children from a young age. And you can actually learn about this from watching your baby grow and doing um, baby yoga with your child. <laughs> Increasing body awareness for your child, getting to know orientation, gentle massage of toes, feet, legs, especially hands for fine motor control can really help. And also just to aid in the natural development of movement from birth to walking. So these are all the reasons we like to do baby yoga, but mostly because it's fun. The way that both of the babies are dressed is perfect, loose, comfortable clothing. If the room is warm enough, if your hands are warm, and you can warm them up by going like this, and you've got your nails cut nicely, um, then it is the ultimate if you can actually bring your hands onto your baby's skin. And that helps you kind of get a sense of where your baby is, how your baby's feeling. They really like to be gently stroked all along their body. What it does is it helps their muscular development, it helps with brain development, and, and talking to them while you're doing it, letting them know what's going on and smiling and singing, they love it. And we'll do this one. North Pole, South Pole, East Coast, West. Hey, little baby, you're the best. North Pole, South Pole, East Coast, West. Sweet little baby, you're the best. And they like it. This one helps with brain development. So sometimes you just have to be careful with how far you're going but just gently bring their hand towards their opposite foot and you just go splish, splash, and then relax. Other side, splish, splash, splish, splash. Other side, splish, splash. Would you like to try that? Sure. And you'll see she, she doesn't, because she's 11 weeks, yeah. she just has kind of a limited splish, range of motion. Splash. And she'll tell you how she's feeling splish, about it. Splash. Helps the left side and the right side splish, of the brain communicate. Splash. Splish. Splash. Mm-hmm. Very nice. <laughs> okay. And all the love coming from your hands. I... Love you! <laughs> and again. I love you! Yeah, that's so fun, isn't it? I love you. And don't be afraid to put a few fingers there and give just a tiny bit of pressure just to help kind of feel that area. Oftentimes if they have lower gas, their bellies will be a little tight. Mm -hmm. And it feels good, just like if you've eaten too much and you're rubbing your tummy. Mm -hmm. Here's another one. It goes with the natural 
flow of digestion and lots of touching and stroking and the way your baby wants will let you know how it likes to be touched. This is corkscrew. Thumbs underneath the thighs and all the way up, say, going around the, like you're going around a clock. Corkscrew. And again, corkscrew. Hey, baby, and making it really fun. And I like to um, encourage each mom to touch and massage the baby's hands every day if they can. You want to try some massage of her fingers and hands? Sure. Really helps sure. uh, accentuate and grow those um, motor skills. Grabbing, grasping, moving. Yeah, so you can take doing that and just encouraging them to very open slightly or you can do one finger at a time. There are so many little nerves at the end of the finger. One of the most important things with your new baby is that any time she is making noises that are other than happy noises, she's telling you that she needs something. And the more we as parents can attend to all of our baby's needs, especially in the very beginning, the more secure the babies are, the more confident they are. Every little thing that your baby indicates to you is because they're needing something and they grow up much more well adjusted and happy if we give them that security and that comfort when they're younger. Now there will be times when you're not sure what they're telling you and everything you do your baby will still be crying and still be screaming and it's really important to keep talking to your baby, to hold your baby close and sometimes the very best thing you can do is take a nice deep breath, but it's hard to remember. So what I encourage moms to do is to make some sound with that breath. We all have a neuromuscular connection between our throat and our pelvis. So if we're feeling tense and we're holding our jaw together, our bellies get really tight. It affects our heart rate goes up. So if we can just start making a nice ohm sound, it's very comforting to our baby. And they immediately feel the vibration and I haven't seen anything work as well. So I'm gonna do it and then I'm gonna have you copy me or we'll do it together on the next one, okay? So this is what I did one day when my baby was screaming, I changed her diapers, I had held her, I had nursed her. And for some reason, she was having some discomfort and she just wouldn't stop screaming. And there was a point where I thought, I can't do this. It was terrifying and I thought I was going to go crazy. But instantly, I just picked her up and I held her and I started going, Aum. and after the second one, she calmed down, I calmed down. And I felt love in my heart again, and I knew everything was going to be fine. And I've had a lot of moms practice this, and it really works. <laughs> so let's practice it together, okay? okay? So with baby there, a nice deep breath. Because they can feel it. They can feel it. So how is baby right now? Is she sleeping? sleeping? And <laughs> she's gone to sleep. <laughs> and you bring her hands up so big. And then you come forward just a little bit and then back. So big. Yeah. Do you like that? Is that fun? <laughs> Let's just do some back and forth. Back and forth and back and forth goes the little baby. Back and forth and back and forth. Let's all go a little crazy. <laughs> we'll do um, the yoga 
Tadasana position. Are you ready for that, baby? So you're not putting any weight on their feet. You're just kind of standing her. And they really like this. You can face her forward. And then we'll just go a little bit more forward. Ta. Da. Ta. Da. Again. Ta. Da. See how much she likes this? Is this fun? So here's another one. These are called back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Tummy time is so good for your baby. In the beginning, some babies don't like going on their tummy, but um, if you can just encourage them to lay on their belly, sometimes you have to hold their head up when they're really small and just get them used to strengthening these back muscles and giving them some nice touch and encouragement. And this baby's already at the point where we can do some really serious baby yoga here. <laughs> and she likes it, see? She's even kicking her feet out herself. Yeah. <laughs> um, baby yoga helps in a lot of ways because what it does is it brings a sense of relief and pressure to both the mom and the baby. Because sometimes when somebody's feeling depressed, they really feel like they're incapable. They feel that there's something wrong with them and they're so hard on themselves. It can just be a feeling of sadness or anxiety and even sometimes terror. And so the things that yoga will bring is almost an instant sense of relief. And when you feel those moments, maybe you feel, you're starting to feel anxious or rushed and maybe you're feeling tense or in the middle of a diaper change is a really good time. Baby yoga and touch also helps boost the immune system of your baby, um, can reduce stress in both of you and develop relaxation techniques. So if you're feeling a little bit anxious and you sit down and you play with your baby or if your baby's having trouble during diaper changes and you make it into a fun thing, it just changes everything and your, your role as a parent is so much easier and that's why I like yoga. To learn things that help us in our everyday life, whether we're at work, whether we're parenting and bring these kind of things into our daily life, not just doing them in a studio.